So, in case you can't tell, yeah, I'm feeling a little crappy. Um, yeah. <laughs> I debated whether or not I wanted to film this or not. You are not sick. I don't want to hear it. Lucky ducky. <laughs> Sorry. So here's the story, and it's kind of interesting, I yeah. guess, for some people. Um, so the schools test the kids. She's not in school. The other one. Um, every twice a week in Hi, pools. Mama. So the school tests all the kids in pools. Um, so the entire class is tested at a time so that the laboratories don't have so much to do that they're completely overwhelmed. And then if the pool tests positive, then all of the class has to go into quarantine immediately. They have to take another test that's individualized, uh, which is sent off to the lab, and, uh, <clears throat> and then they get the results. So Tuesday, that happened. The entire class was tested, and the pool test was positive. So all the kids were sent home, and um, they had all of the kids retest, and we sent the test, we brought the test in Wednesday morning to the school. They got sent to the lab. We got the results very, very late on Tuesday evening. <coughs> it was so late that I was actually surprised that the lab was still open. <laughs> I was like 9.30 at night. Anyway, we got the results. I opened ours, and it said, Sabrina's test result is positive. Oh, man. Uh, the vaccine for children has not yet been approved in the EU, so none of my kids are vaccinated. So that meant that Sabrina it has corona. Now, she had had a little cold. I mean, it was a barely little cold. She had a little stuffy nose, and... And I figured it, as long as it just stays at stuffy nose stage, then she can still go to school. I didn't think anything of it. I had no idea that it could have been corona. My bad, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's just the bad of this stupid yeah. virus. <coughs> anyway, my husband and I are fully vaccinated, so we figured, according to the rules, that my four-year-old and my eight-year-old would have to go into quarantine but that my husband and I would not have to quarantine necessarily. I would still be there most of the time to take care of the kids, but I wouldn't really have to stay inside, and I could still go shopping and stuff. Um, so I did. And then uh, last night, I started feeling kind of gross, and uh, I went to bed at like 8. I never go to bed that early. And um, I woke up this morning, fairly certain I have a fever. So in case you can't tell, I feel like crap. Also, before I videotape myself, I always put on a little bit of makeup because I have rosacea and it makes my cheeks really pink. Um, but uh, couldn't be bothered today, sorry. Um, I feel too crappy. So this is me feeling crappy. Um, anyways. I don't think you care, but, uh, so this morning I took, um, a homemade test. Hey, let me go get it. It's right here. And so they have a control line and they have a test line. So if there's one line, it's negative. If it's two lines, it's positive, like a pregnancy test, I guess. And here's what we got. It was pretty clearly positive. So I went over to the doctor and I got tested officially. So guess who has corona? Lucky me. <laughs> <coughs> so first, when I got my vaccine, um, I got the Pfizer vaccine, by the way, uh, I had a, a relatively unusual uh, side effect, which is called COVID arm, which means that about a week after you get the um, vaccine, then the place where you got the vaccine will swell up again after it had already healed once um, and become super itchy. Um, yeah, that was fun. So that it puts me in the 1% <laughs> of people who get the vaccine. Lucky me. And now I um, 
have the full-blown virus, which is awesome. <laughs> um, it's been five months since my second vaccine, so I wasn't really expecting to be able to catch the virus. I was hoping it was something else floating around. <laughs> like, it's just a cold, right? It's Tell me it's just a cold. <coughs> nope. Lucky me. So, um, I want to send one major message, though. I don't want this to be evidence to anyone that vaccines aren't worth getting, because I don't believe that at all. Um, I'm really glad I have the vaccine, uh, and I understand that my case will most likely be much more mild than it otherwise would be. I am very unlikely to be hospitalized, and I'm extremely grateful for that. So please get vaccinated if you haven't yet. So that is my message for the day. Um, is there a breakthrough infection? Of course there is. We already knew that. Um, having After having the vaccine, it said it's supposed to be 95% effective, but after six months, it's 84% effective, which puts me in the minority group again. <laughs> just like getting COVID arm, I'm just special that way. Uh, <coughs> I had to be the special one. Anyway, um, I, if you have the vaccine, you probably won't get the virus, so that's the good news, um, but I wanted to show my experience really quickly of what happens when you do, and not to forget that you might. Um, so what are my symptoms? Just really quickly, um, I have a sore throat, um, but it's pretty mild. I have a, a little stuffy nose, but it's not running. It's just kind of a little bit of sinus pressure. Um, and I have a cough. It's not too bad. Um, it's mostly the fuzzy head feeling like I can't quite concentrate that bothers me the most. And um, and just feeling like regular crap. Like just like like just feeling like slightly feverish almost. Like super low energy. Um, I have low energy anyway, so like having less than low energy is, is like really hard. So um, those are my major symptoms. Um, I'm not trying to scare anyone with this. I'm sure we'll be fine. So um, our next vlog hopefully will be a little more cheery. By the way, this will probably come out way late. So just to give you an idea, this is December 3rd. <laughs> <coughs> December 3rd. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> you have a coronavirus <laughs> and have to quarantine. Oh, man. So now three of us are in full quarantine. My husband is still allowed in and out as long as he doesn't have um, a positive test. We have these self-tests that I'm showing you that um, we can take at home. And we have a whole bunch that we've... Uh, we get them for free from the, from the kindergarten. They want us to test twice a week. So... Um, and we sometimes forget, so we had it kind of stockpiled. Um, I have probably another 10 over there that we will undoubtedly use <laughs> before the end of our quarantine. Um, if we need to, we can order some more. So if you have that possibility to test yourself, please do. Um, and don't forget to wear your masks outside. Please protect each other. And uh, it can hit anyone. That's, that's my message for today. It can hit anyone. Don't feel guilty if it does, but just do your best and quarantine and get vaccinated. So that's the end of my rant for the day. <laughs> I'll see you another time when I'm feeling a little bit better. Bye. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> oh, I thought that I would do an update because I realized, number one, the lighting was crap on the last one because it was basically dusk outside. <laughs> All you had was this like horrible artificial light. So I was hoping to get something with a little more natural light. It does show my splotchy skin more though, but hey, I'm sick. Um, so today is the 8th, which is five days from the last time I did a quick vlog. Um, I wanted to update everyone. So, here's our vital statistics. On the first, Sabrina 
my eight-year-old tested positive for COVID. She was the first one, went into quarantine officially. Um, she will be out of quarantine on the 14th. And, well, that's their last day. And then um, she's allowed to go back to school on the 15th. As long as her um, test is negative, she has to be tested again because it's also possible you still have the active uh, virus inside you, um, in which case she's going to have to continue her quarantine, um, which will not make her happy. So hopefully it will be out of her system by then. <coughs> Excuse me. On the third, I tested positive. I will be on quarantine until including the 17th same rules for me. I have to be tested negative to test out of quarantine. And, of course, because we can't leave anyone out, on the 7th, my four-year-old Natalie tested positive. <laughs> we had been doing home tests until then, and they had always been negative, and she hadn't shown any symptoms until, until yesterday. So... Welcome to the club. We're now Corona Buddies. Um, so she, I haven't gotten the call from the um, the health office yet, but I'm sure I will. And then um, she will be on quarantine until the 21st, which means then it's all going into Christmas break, so she's not going back to kindergarten this year. Lucky her. Um, she's a little upset about it, but you got to do what you got to do. Anyway, um, I wanted to update you a little on, um, like, sorry, I'm not, still not quite all there. Um, symptoms, sorry, that's, that's the word I was searching for. <laughs> okay, the brain fog, number one, is really bad. Um, I feel really stupid, <laughs> like, all the time. Uh, something I'm struggling with because um, I know I'm not stupid I usually don't have this problem <laughs> anyway um, yeah so just uh, Sabrina and Natalie are both have like cold like symptoms I would call it like a little bit of a cough maybe a low grade fever <coughs> <coughs> Um, but nothing that I would say, oh, it's really bad, you know. It's more like, yeah, she probably has a cold. It'll, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, it turns out she doesn't have a cold. Anyway, it's not a cold. Um, I, however, lucky me, got all of the symptoms. Basically, if you've heard of it being a COVID symptom, I probably had it. Um, just past weekend was so bad I was basically unable to do anything um, whenever I get sick I personally almost always get dizzy dizziness is like the number one symptom for me whenever I get sick um, like I'm not sure why it is exactly it could be like an inner ear issue it could be like um, it could be like a low blood pressure problem because I have had low blood pressure in the past. I don't know exactly, but it's flipping frustrating. <laughs> <coughs> Cough. In case you hadn't caught that yet. <coughs> <coughs> the cough also comes um, when I'm speaking a lot or if I'm trying to do anything. Like if I stand up and walk around a little bit, then I'll start coughing. Um, dizziness also gets worse by walking around and doing stuff so um what else did I have uh, oh I lost my sense of taste like I was, was going to say my sense of smell but like it felt like taste <laughs> because no food I ate had any flavor um, I'm a big bread eater one of my favorite things to do is to make homemade bread and then make it into like rolls pull them apart and freeze them in like groups of three or four and then I'll just take them um, one out on a day and that'll be like my snack for the day um, that's one of my favorite things to do I really love homemade bread um, 
Yeah. Well, if, if you don't have a sense of smell and you only have a sense of taste, which can only taste salty, sour, bitter, sweet, and I can also taste spicy in like the back of my throat. Um, yeah, the bread has no flavor. <laughs> it turns out that all of bread's flavor comes from smell. <laughs> And since I can't smell anything, bread tastes awful. It's yucky. It's disgusting. I get something I don't want to eat at all. So I have struggled a little bit with eating, um, with wanting to eat. I eat. I have been eating a lot less, but I've also been drinking more. Another symptom is dry mouth. Oh my goodness, did I have dry mouth? Um, the dry mouth and the sore throat. So like between that, all I wanted to do was drink juice like all the time. I was not that interested in water. I just wanted to drink juice all the time. But since I wasn't really able to eat, I didn't really feel bad about that. So I just drank a lot of juice. <laughs> um, so I could recommend that <laughs> for getting over COVID. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, congestion like a lot of nasal congestion. Did it drip out? Yeah, it absolutely did. Um, it doesn't drip the whole time. Sometimes it's clear. Um, but it's definitely upset with me. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, I don't know what else I could share with you, but um, those are like the main ones, the main symptoms that I had. I was slightly concerned about my condition over the weekend, but it's starting to get better. It is getting better very slowly though, so I think it's just one of those things that requires patience. Um, in the past I have had mononucleosis, so I think I can handle being sick for two weeks. Mono is being sick for like a month at the least. <laughs> Um, and take my word for it, that's worse. So um, even though I'm dealing with a lot of acute symptoms, I have the hope that it is going to get better to the point where I can do normal people things um, as soon as possible. So um, anyway, <clears throat> this was our COVID journey. Um, I have no reason to expect any of us to have any major complications and it seems like we're all on the mend. So that's the good news, um, and I will catch you in the next vlog.